shop in Gloucester will be deserted. Nothing left but empty shelves. CTV's Matt Scooby visited the store to gauge reaction tonight. Matt. Patricia, it's happened suddenly. Staff were apparently informed last weekend that the store would be closing on Thursday. Open box and demo items were sold off at big discounts. And it's not the only future shop location closing in eastern Ontario. The doors close on another big box store in Ottawa. The future shop on City Park Drive closing in just days. I guess it's just really disappointing. This is a local store for us. We really enjoy coming here and we'll miss it for sure. Came here and there's nothing left, so I'm, I'm, I'm devastated. No big announcement from the company, just preparations to close up shop. And it's got people asking why. I don't understand why they're closing because I think they were doing well. Others are taking advantage of deals. For the consumer, it's a lot better, you know. There's uh, uh, more sales, more clearances. In a statement, a spokesman for Future Shop says the lease at the Ottawa East store is expiring and the company has made the decision not to renew it. All employees will have the opportunity to apply for positions at nearby Future Shop or Best Buy stores with hiring priority. Our goal is to keep as many of the employees as we can. Employees of the store in Gloucester wouldn't go on camera, only saying they were good when it comes to finding another job. Future Shop will be paying out severance to those who don't get a position in the company. When you walk around the store, there are empty shelves everywhere. No more TVs, computers, tablets, and appliances have people's names on them. Those were the only items in the store that were offered at big discounts, and now they're gone. And some people are comparing this closing to another high-profile closing. I can understand places like Target. Like, I saw them kind of pulling out. I mean, you go to their stores and there's nobody in here. But like a place like Future Shop, especially right after holidays like this, it just doesn't seem likely that they're falling on tough times right now. There are still nine Ottawa area locations, but this is not the only store set to close. The future shop in Kingston also not having its lease renewed. In Regina, the store is closing, reportedly to be replaced by a YMCA gym. Now, it's been a tough couple of years for the company. Last year, Best Buy, who owns Future Shop, laid off 900 employees. Two years ago, 15 Best Buy and Future Shop locations were closed. But there are reports that Future Shop will look to open up smaller stores like the one recently unveiled in Cornwall. Patricia. CTV's Matt Scooby reporting live tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, riding on a school bus is supposed to be safe. A family in Petawawa isn't so sure anymore after a frightening incident involving their son. The four-year-old is being treated for possible frostbite. His mother says the bus driver was no help at all. Lucas McDonald was on his way to an elementary school in Petawawa. When he suffered a painful injury, CTV's Eric Longley reports. Four-year-old Lucas McDonald sports a large pink mark where his cheek was pressed against frozen glass. The result of getting his tongue